in the Virgin Islands. We are outside of Christianstead at La Rien's Chicken Shack. And I am gonna pair a half a smoked chicken today and some Johnny Cakes with this 1928 Prosecco. Yeah, it's definitely extra dry, nice and bubbly. Yeah, I mean, if there's anything on the nose, I think the wind is carrying it away. Mm. Um, it's very light, maybe, maybe citrus. But it is very, very light and extra dry. So. But it's definitely good. Now for the Johnny Cake. That's good. A little bit sweet. Kind of crunchy on the outside. Not really crunchy. But toasted, I guess. Well toasted on the outside. Um, very nice. Kind of sweet. Still plenty warm. This is definitely worth getting if you're ever in the area. Just get a shot of that. Came with some ketchup and some sweet baby rays. No, it's really good. It's really simple. It's just smoked and chicken. You know, they've really crisped up the skin. So it's nice and caramelized and just, that's really great. I think it still pairs well. I don't think, uh, the problem is there's just so, that wine is so light. Nothing detracts, I mean, it's very good, it's very refreshing, but yeah, it's so light, it doesn't, it doesn't in any way overpower the, the flavors of the chicken. There's nothing off-putting about any of it, and even this Johnny Cake, the Johnny Cake's very light flavored, it's you know, basically just bread. But this has got such a light flavor too that neither of them are overpowering. I would definitely drink it again. Or pair it again for sure. Do you want to talk a little bit about this place and why you picked it? I mean I found this place online but it was it was well reviewed, but it looked like just like a pretty basic place like I would go to in Texas. You know, just just something for everyday folks to to go and get a big hunk of smoked chicken. I don't know, it seemed like Caribbean redneck food, so that's why I picked it. All right, I had to restart the camera here because uh, Mamma Redneck here got the uh, smoked meatloaf meal and she is just getting started. She's pairing it with the Prosecco as well and she's just aghast. So now we're doing meatloaf in the Virgin Islands with this, Prosecco. This is better meatloaf than my grandma's. You're lucky your grandma's dead. <laughs> it is, I don't know if you can see that. Like it's smoked and it's tender. Oh, you, you, you gotta quit moving it. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't realize you were zooming in. All right. It's smoked and tender and fantastic. But how does it pair? So, like you said, this is a light, bubbly Prosecco. Very light, right? Maybe citrus on the nose? N not on the nose. I couldn't get nothing on the nose. But. Yeah. But the smoked kind of brings out like this. It's almost like an apple lemony flavor. Mm. I don't know if it's the beef in the smoke that brings it out. Like, Because you didn't notice that with the chicken. I like, didn't. I almost noticed when I was eating it with the chicken. I probably should have said this. There was almost kind of like that buttery Chardonnay note to it mm. with the chicken. I'm getting like a little green apple and citrus, like lemony kind of. It goes really, really well with meatloaf. Sweet. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll Ready let you. to sign out? Oh, yeah. You should there you go. click like, subscribe, comment for tips on where... Classy Redneck should take me to next on vacation and uh, ring his bell. All right.